11 questions that atheists cannot answer. What does that mean exactly, cannot answer? I don't know as an answer. There's lots of answers. Some are true, some are false, some are honest, some are dishonest, some are based on evidence, some are not, some are based on faith, belief. I don't know, let's see what this lady has to say about it. Let's see if we can answer her 11 questions. Hello, you've reached ChristianApologist.com, and I'm S.J. Thomason, and today I'm going to present to you 11 questions that atheists cannot answer. Hey, S.J. Thomason. I'm welcome to hear your questions. The first question, how do you explain why the early Christian martyrs preached for decades saying they saw the risen Christ? They didn't. Uh, we have no proof of that. So, that's how I could say that. You have a book written by Paul that alludes to that, but that was written well afterwards. Anyways, that's just his testimony. Two, how do you explain the rise of Christianity to between five, really? five and six million by 313 when it was finally legalized from... How do you explain the rise of Islam? How do you explain the rise of Hinduism? How do you explain the rise of Mormons? How do you explain the rise of Jehovah Witnesses? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe because people like to form together in groups with common ideas and goals and stuff like that. And a lot of times it surrounds a religious belief. Sounds reasonable. Such humble roots. Three, what powered inflation of the universe? Four. What powered the inflation of the universe? Uh, the best cosmology we have is that the universe began as far back as we know with an expansion of uh, space and time. Uh, that's about as far back as we can go. We don't have the answer before that, so there I answered the question. Honestly, because we don't know. You think you may know, you think you know, but you're not, you don't know. Or why are humans spiritual? Humans are not spiritual. Humans believe they are spiritual. There is no such thing as dualism. That has to be proven. So I know where that common misconception comes from because a lot of times it feels like you're looking in on your own thoughts as you think about what you think about. Did you know something like 30% of people don't even have an internal monologue? Did you know that? I wonder if they're dualists. Hmm. I don't know why people believe in spirituality. Why do they believe in witchcraft? Why do they believe in all types of stuff? I don't know. Government conspiracies, not cons conspiracy theories. There are conspiracies, but you need proof to believe them. How do you have flat earthers? Five. Where did consciousness come from? <laughs> as far as we know, consciousness, consciousness comes from the brain. There is no difference between the brain and the mind. When we stick a needle into the brain, it affects the way we think. There's nothing special about it. We actually have machines now, thanks to Elon Musk, thank you, that can read our thoughts and control controllers. We had a chimpanzee doing that. Check that video out. That was pretty cool. Controlling the computer screen to get treats just with its mind. No wires, nothing else. Pretty cool stuff. We're just a brain. Six. How do you explain what some have called our sixth sense? Uh, woo woo. <laughs> nonsense. Utter nonsense. There. There is no such thing as six senses. We have senses. They work. Seven. How did the Earth overcome what MIT and Stanford physicists call statistically miraculous odds to have habitable conditions? How did it overcome? It doesn't have consciousness or will. It didn't overcome anything. 
the conditions were in place for life to start on the planet. If they hadn't been, life would not have started on the planet. Life probably has started on other planets as far as we know, due to the Drake equation, which requires a lot of guesswork and stuff. But the likelihood of life evolving and starting on other planets is not zero. Eight. Why does humanity cherish humility and honesty over pride and deceit? Humility and honesty over pride and deceit. What's wrong with being prideful? Sometimes it's okay to be deceitful. Humility? Why should you always be humble? So you should be humble when you're wrong. Are you wrong about your God? Are you humble to admit that you don't have proof or evidence that there's a God? Hmm. No. Pretty prideful there. Nine. Why do almost all feel compelled to do what's right by helping neighbors? Why? What? People steal. Uh, yeah. Because we are evolved mammals, we work together in a community and we form rules to work together because that's our nature as an animal, as a human, a social creature. Why is there a norm of reciprocity? Ten. A norm of reciprocity. I explain that. We're social creatures. And what is our greater purpose? Whatever you want it to be. And eleven. Why is there evil in the world? Because your God created it. Why is there evil in the world? Because we are imperfect mammals. We are imperfect great apes. We are not, I mean, what is evil anyways except a set of um, what immoral acts that we view as violations of our freedom and liberty and our rights and stuff like that. Basic ones, murder, rape, th theft, right? Don't murder people, don't rape people, don't steal from people. The reason why we do that is because we don't want that reciprocity, or we don't want it done to us. Right? Thank you. Thank you very much. This is ChristianApologist.com. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, these are sort of fun. This is an old video. Other people have done response videos of it. It's sort of just fun. I think it's fun. But... Um, I'm probably not the most um, well-spoken person, but I hope you enjoy my video. Let me know in my comments what you think.